Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we have some very exciting news about Warner Max, which has seemed to fuel the fandom's hope for the Snyderverse being restored. So if you take your mind back to the very first Snyder Cut trailer that was released at DC Fandom, you will remember that when the logos appeared, there was a Warner Max logo. But when the other trailers were released, that logo was changed to the Warner Brothers logo. Now, Warner Max is a branch of Warner Brothers that was designed to produce 8 to 10 mid budget movies per year for HBO Max, and the Snyder Cut was under that category. Warner Max were the people who greenlit the Snyder Cut, and so without them, I don't think we would have seen that four hour film. But what happened to Warner Max? Well, unfortunately, Toby Emmerich, a former executive of Warner Brothers, folded the branch in an attempt to control all their films, including the Snyder Cut. Which is when all the dark arts started, like the trailers being leaked and the Blu-ray trailer being unlisted. But now, we have hope. Warner Max is coming back, and we know this because Warner Brothers have reactivated the trademark for the film label. This means that they are protecting the logo, name, and basically the entire brand of Warner Max. They would only do this for one reason, and that is because they are reopening the company. So with Warner Max being the supporters of the Snyder Cuts within the Warner Brothers company, and being the ones who can green light any HBO Max film, we have some real hope. Now I think this could be the Warner Brothers Discovery mergers doing. So if you don't know, Warner Brothers and Discovery are merging next year, and because of that merger, some people will lose their jobs, due to both companies having people employed in those areas of the company, so someone will have to be made redundant. Not only that, but David Zaslav, who is the current CEO of Discovery, and will become the new CEO of the merger, has stated multiple times that the company will focus on what customers want and trying to build better relation with customers. So this means he will look at demand, like our demand for the Snyderverse. Anyway, why I think this is the merger's doing is because I think David Zaslav and his Discovery team has done some investigating into recent Warner Brothers actions and have seen how they have messed up in many areas. One of those being the treatment of HBO Max. I think they have some sort of power right now, as the merger is going through, and they have decided to reactivate Warner Max, so when the merger is complete, they can allow Warner Max to focus on bringing the best content possible to HBO Max, whilst allowing Warner Brothers to focus on theatrical releases. Now I know this isn't ideal, we would love to see Justice League 2 and 3 up on the big screen. But let me ask you this, watch the Snyderverse on streaming services, or not at all? Warner Max are our biggest hope now in restoring the Snyderverse, and I would be fine with seeing it on HBO Max. We aren't in the same situation as we were a year ago, where HBO Max wasn't available in many countries. It's now in more countries than ever, and even if HBO Max isn't available in your country, there are alternatives that allow you to see their films and shows. I think with the situation we are in, having the Snyderverse on streaming is ideal. HBO Max could create a small section called the Snyderverse, which means it is very clear which films are in the Snyderverse and which are not, so there would be no confusion. It also means Snyder can have full creative control, as people like Toby Emmerich won't be able to be involved in his films. But Snyder would want that as a guarantee before coming back. He doesn't want to go through what he went through last time, so he would return after the merger goes through and when certain people are moved on from the company. There are obstacles in the way at the moment, however the merger can remove some of those and help solve others. I'm not saying the merger is guaranteeing the Snyderverse, but the recent news of Warner Max coming back into play does give us more hope. All the signs are saying that Warner Brothers Discovery will be a well-managed, professional company who cares what the customers want and where egos are not a part of the decision-making process. As I've stated before, Snyder does currently have a two-year deal with Netflix, which means we won't see the Snyderverse films until that is over. However, that doesn't mean negotiations and announcements can't happen way before then. Not only that, but Warner Brothers Discovery will be on a mission to bring back directors and actors who have cut ties to the current ownership of Warner Brothers, like Christopher Nolan, 
who has walked away from the company and has decided to work with Universal instead. These kind of big names are most likely the priority for Discovery to get back on board with the company, and I'm sure Snyder is one of them. Every movie he makes trends and is talked about for a long time. Positive or negative, his movies are talked about, which gains a lot of attention for the studio he is working with. That is something I'm sure Warner Brothers Discovery are looking at. I will make sure to keep you all up to date if any more news comes out about this merger or Warner Max, as it now seems like things are going up a gear and we are getting more and more information that can lead to the Snyderverse's restoration. As I always say, patience is the key and we cannot give up. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.